Good evening, people. Lovely to have you all back on Travel Trolls TV. Right, today I'm going to show you how to plan a trip because I'm about to plan as next trip, as first one after lockdown three, um, and it's going to be Northumberland. Really, really excited. I have shown you how to plan a trip before in a very long, long winded detailed video but it's a year or two back now so I'm gonna do another one so what I do to plan a trip I'm gonna show you how to plan the perfect trip firstly get a map of the area you want to go to now I would recommend this is one centimeter by to four kilometers about that size is perfect because you can I'll show you in a minute yeah um, I've got this left over from when I did the other side which was Cumbria and the Lake District um, and I had some map left from the eastern side which I'm going to need now because it's got Northumberland on it so here is the map that is Northumberland in there I have cut a bit of the end off there by accident it doesn't matter it's only a tiny bit so that is the majority of Northumberland I've highlighted it so you can see it very clearly and it's it's the perfect size you know you can fold that in half and it's not you don't have to open big maps up I know some people say oh you shouldn't be you shouldn't be ripping your maps up like that P personal choice isn't it it's what I like to do so that's my Northumberland so I start by cutting it out just where I'm going highlighting the border and then I start with campsites I put bear with me uh, little sticky dots of all the same colour on the campsite. I'm going to start by doing that. I'll just show you the, ca the campsite app which I'm using. So we are members of two campsite clubs now. I'm just waiting for my membership details to come from them which I'm hoping are coming today. But we're concentrating on this one at the moment which is si uh, cam Camp uh, Caravan and Motorhome Club. So click on that. I've already put the details in. This is Northumberland. For you overseas people who don't know where Northumberland is, that's where it is in the United Kingdom. It's right up in the top left hand corner of England, bordering Scotland. So what I've put in there is the campsites must, it doesn't matter if it's a CL site, which is the green ones. CL sites are sites which only hold five motorhomes or caravans at a time for legal reasons. They've only got permission to have five on at a time. So that's the green ones. The red ones are the bigger sites. They're the ones we'd ideally want to stay on, but they are a little bit more money. Uh, what I've put into my search criteria is the must-have electric hookup available and it must have hard standing available. So this is what we're left with. So what I'm going to do now is transfer all them with a dot onto the map. As you're doing that, stick them on your Google Maps. I find this is very important. So if we go in here, uh, where are we? I'm lost. I'm lost. Um, the red ones are campsites, okay, which I've done a few months back. So if we click on one of them, that is a CL site, okay, so we click on it. It's saved in favourites. So I always put. Um, a favourite which is a, a red heart for a campsite so you see all the red hearts there and the green dots are places to go which we're going to go into in more detail uh, very soon but we're concentrating on the red hearts stick them on your phone and stick them on your map as you're going along so I've completed the first one just to show you exactly what I do these, by the way, are 6mm dots. They're the smaller ones. I prefer them to the 9mm. Uh, it makes your map a lot easier to read. Doesn't cover as many town names. So I find out where the first one is, and I put a red dot on there, and I will number them. So this is number one. And then write in a book, um, Northumberland Campsite, number one, Link House Farm, which is a CL site and then put it on your Google Maps which I've done here it's this red one down here because I've zoomed in I've had a look you can see the parking areas there if I click on that down here I will have put a few notes in there look 
So I have put, bear with me, Link House Farm CL Campsite open all year. You know, you can add the telephone number and everything you want in there. But that's on your Google Maps because that's where you're going to be using when you're trying to get there. So that is how to do one. Now just leave me to it. I'm going to get red dots all over this and uh, come back to you. Boom. Done. That took me 35 minutes. There is, what, 14 on there. 14 campsites with the uh, Caravan and Motorhome Club. Brought them all down there. Two of them, I couldn't even find them on Google Maps, so I've crossed them off. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with the other camping club which we've just joined, the Camping and Caravanning Club. There isn't as many on there, which a lot of them are grass pitches, so I'm not going to put them on. I've got about seven or eight more to put on, so I'll leave me to it. It took me 35 minutes to do that, so let's say, including this, an hour. Give yourself an hour to stick all your campsites on there. All done. There you are. 23 um, different campsites within Northumberland, apart from one which is actually Durham, but it's on the way up. It's a bigger one and I thought we might stay there on the way up if it's too far. So they're all mapped out. Some people might not want to stay on a campsite, they might not be able to afford it, for one. Um, there are other options. Now, the first one, the one which everyone seems to use if you want to wild camp, is Park for Night. So there is Park for Night app. Click on that and all these are places you can stay, laybys, car parks, next to the sea, where, you know, it's big enough for a motorhome usually. Um, so you can look through all them. It's all the peas. It also has campsites on there. Very, very handy. We used to wild camp all the time. And we probably still will when we're in places like the north of Scotland. Um, but we don't really want to do it in England anymore because we've had too many bad experiences in laybys. But yeah, a very, very handy app for wild camping. Last but not least, there's another option. Um, I almost forgot about this one because it's been a year since we've been able to use them. Brit Stops. I've mentioned Brit Stops quite a few times before. Um, it's where you can stay in a pub car park for free, uh, as long as you go in and have a drink. I think it costs you £28.50, I think it is, for the full year. They send you a book out with all the places you can stop. Um, they're just updating their website at the moment. It should be a brand new website in the next day or two where you can order it. Just a very small business. I would... I would really recommend that people give you, give their support because I'm surprised they're still going after this after the bad year they must have had. So try to give your support to Brit Stops uh, and keep that company going because it is a fantastic, fantastic idea. There's nothing better than being able to stay in a pub car park and have a drink and a meal. So the next thing is to fill this with the places you want to go, the things you want to see, the exciting things. The best place to start with that is TripAdvisor. Before I move on to TripAdvisor, I just want to quickly show you, there's my list. And what I've done is I've separated them into the different camping clubs. And I've put stars next to the bigger campsites. So what I'm going to do is find the bigger campsites on here and I'll put, probably put a little ring round them so that I know which are the big ones and which are the small ones. The good thing about this is, having two clubs, I've noticed here, for example, this is the club which we were with, and it's a small CL site. This one is the new club, and that's a big site just across the river. So when you go into these bigger towns and things, um, you now have the option of, you know, two sites in one little village or town, which could work out a lot better for us. As I say, next thing, TripAdvisor. Click on TripAdvisor. Go to, where is it, Trips at the bottom. Click on Trips and click Plus and start a new trip. Create a trip and name that trip wherever you're going. So, I've already done this. Over the past few years, I've already made little trip names like County Durham. I've got 23 different places I want to go see there. Tynan Weir, North Yorkshire, Cumbria, Northumberland. 95 items in there, so I'm going to click on that. And this is going to bring up 
all the places which I've already marked out where I want to go. So now all I have to do is transfer them onto the map. For that, I need the green dots. The way to fill up your TripAdvisor trip is you go into TripAdvisor, you type in where you want to go. So I'm going to put in Northumberland, which I've already done there, look. Click on it. And that will bring up all the things to do there, look. Things to do, click on that. Go down to the bottom, because it's putting them into little separate parts. See all things to do. Now I'm just going to click on one just to see how many there are. 303 things to do in Northumberland. So, you go through all these, every single one of them. Choose which you want to go to, you know, have a click on them, see what you think. Paxton House, for example. I saw something about Paxton House which I liked, so what I did is I clicked the heart button and then it will ask you if you want to put it into a trip. Uh, yes, Northumberland. So that's how you make it. You just put a heart next to all the places you want to go, it'll stick them into Northumberland, and then eventually you'll be able to just click trips, go into your Northumberland. Oh, where are we? And they'll all be there waiting for you, just to then put on your map and put on Google Maps. This is going to take a while, so I'll be back with you whenever. Two hours later, done. All the green dots are on. Every green dot relates to a place. 58 on that page. A total of 76 I've got on there. And that's me done for the day. So that's my places off TripAdvisor. There's still other things I've got to tell you, but I'm done for the day, honestly. Shattered. It's, it's tedious work. The actual looking it up on TripAdvisor and stuff, that's cool. You can do that in, you know, just sat down at your own leisure on TripAdvisor, look at this place. Oh, that looks nice, yeah. We'll put a heart next to that, we'll go there. That's the good bit. It's the writing it down and putting the stickers on. It's tedious. But if you want a proper trip, doing properly, that's the way to do it. Right, I'll see you all in the morning um, to tell you all the special things you need to do to make this the perfect trip. Good night. Good morning. Right, we're ready to go again. Ready to go again. Full of energy today. The sun's out. It's lovely. Um, right, where were we at? We've put all those places where we want to go on as map. That's all done. But there's still other places which aren't on TripAdvisor. You know, you need to search. You need to look through the internet and find these things. The next thing I would always do is go on a site called Atlas Obscura. I'll show you the app. So it's this one down at the bottom here, Atlas of the Obscure. Now if you zoom in to the area you're going to, I'm not keen on these, you know where it splits it into ten. I just want to see all the dots at the same time. Right, this is the area we're looking at. Um, as you can see there's quite a lot of green dots there. So just check them all out, there might be something on them. Like that's already on my list, uh, full of ghosts. And rare cows, it just said there. That's a bit unusual. Yeah, just click on all these, see if there's anywhere else you want to go to, and add them, because there's some very, very strange places on these. The Cement Menageries. This is a guy with his son who has a house garden full of cement ornaments, little animals. So that might be quite cool to see. So go through all them. Add them to your list and put on more green stickers. So other ideas of how to find places which are green dot worthy. Number one, go on YouTube, type in Northumbria, look at documentaries, look at history programmes, look at other um, vloggers who've been around Northumbria, Northum Northumberland, uh, people who've been there, just look at loads of videos and you'll get more insights of the places. And you'll get things like nice restaurants to eat in, a nice quirky pub. 
things in the village you might want to see, this shop's famous for this. You get all that by watching other people's videos. So get them, add them to the list. Then what else can you do? You can go on Google Maps, zoom right in to each town and village and just look through all the shops. See if there's anything quirky and cool what you might want to go to there. Add a green dot. Uh, what else is there? There's more, there's more. Get in your app store. Type in Northumberland. Download any app to do with Northumberland and just check them out. There might be something cool. I've got one here I'll quickly show you. This one's called Travel Northumberland. Click on there. There's a map that shows there's 40 more places there. Um, check them all out. There might be something on there which wasn't on TripAdvisor. What's that? A castle. What's that? House and gardens. You know, I'll check them out, I'll look through them, even if I just find two or three more things to put on here, it's good. Any green dot is good. Recommendations. People's recommendations, especially us being YouTubers. We make a video like I'm making this now. I can guarantee some people will put comments saying, oh, if you're going to Northumberland, you have to go to so-and-so. I've already had a couple of good ideas. Someone sent me a good one for a, an unusual bookshop, so thank you to that guy for sending that on a comment. Uh, they're all getting added to this. So there's loads of ways, just search throughout the internet, you will find other things. And once you've got your list done, that's it, that's as far as you have to go. Um, me being a YouTuber, and because I like to go into detail on the history and things, I'll be doing more research, such as I will then, if there's a castle, I'll type in that castle name, I'll get all the interesting facts together onto a list so that when I get there I can read them out. Um, but you, if you're just travelling and you want to just see some places, all you have to do then is decide, right, well I'm coming from this way, so am I going to go around that way? Am I going to go around that way? Um, pick the campsites you want to stop at. You know, if you've got a clump of greens, you want to stay in that area, so you stay on a campsite near them. And you might be there for three or four days. Um, but that is pretty much how I plan our trips. I don't always get the chance, uh, simply because we are daily vloggers. Um, I'm spending all my time editing and answering comments and filming. So it's rare that I get the chance to do this, but you know, luckily, luckily, luckily now there's a lockdown, um, I can do this properly. But yeah, I just wanted to put it out there, give some people some ideas. You know, I'm sure everyone has their own way of doing things. If anyone has got anywhere in Northumberland I should be going, which might not be on my list, uh, please let me know in the comments below. So yeah, hope that helps some people out. Catch you on the next one. Uh, what we are going to do now is me and Mazzy are going to sit down and decide which way we're going to go and we're actually going to book the campsites in the next couple of days because they are filling up very, very quickly, we've noticed. Catch you all... don't know if it's tomorrow, but I'll catch you all very soon. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching! Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.